Hey guys, and welcome to this week's Fab and Five. So today I'm gonna to be doing a review of the new reformulated Luster Glass Lipsticks by MAC Cosmetics. I also have my old formula so we can kind of compare. So if you're interested in seeing how the new reformulated Luster Glass Lipsticks by MAC perform and wear, then keep on watching. So a little bit more about this new formula. So their original Luster Lipstick has been upgraded to deliver the same effortlessly translucent and glossy color, but now with a luscious blend of good for you lip ingredients. It has a creamy combination of a jojoba, raspberry seed, coconut, and organic extra virgin olive oils that nourish the lips while shea butter conditions and hyaluronic acid helps moisturize. Comfortable, buildable color with a luminous, long wearing finish, ultra lightweight, smooth as silk texture. So I have the old formula in the shade Hug Me, the Luster lipstick, and I got the new Luster Glass lipstick in the shade Hug Me as well, which is nice to see that they didn't just come out with a bunch of new ones. You will see a slight difference difference in packaging already. This is the old one and this one is quite shiny to obviously mimic the shininess of the actual lipstick. So I'm going to swatch both of these side by side. Like let's see if there's any difference in formula. So you can see you can either go quite sheer or you can build it. That's the old formula in the shade Hug Me. So this is the new formula. So it looks actually a little bit more pigmented. So that's one swipe versus one swipe with the old formula. And then this is built up. I just feel like the new formula looks a little bit smoother. Can you guys see that? So this is the new formula. These two here, like this almost looks a little patchy and this looks a little bit more even in pigmentation. So that's good to see. So the next shade, pigment of your imagination. So Hug Me is described as a fleshy nude. Pigment of your imagination is described as a reflective pink. Pigment of your imagination. We have the shade Syrup, which is described as a blue pink. So this one is Syrup. Then we have Beam There Done That. So it's a rosy plum pink. And I do really think they're a little bit more pigmented for sure. Beam There Done That. We have C Sheer, which is described as a grapefruit pink. So this is maybe a little bit more warm toned than the other ones. We have Sellout, but like a Della sign. This is a pinky nude with a silver pearl. Isn't that just a beautiful shade, like that pinky nude? So there is Business Casual, which is described as a warm red nude. Anything with nude in the name, I'm down for. Stunning, so that is the Business Casual. This is Flustered, is a bright blue red. So that's the bright blue red. And then last but not least, TN Teaser, which is a bright orange. Ooh, but that's fun. Should we do the orange today? So that is TN Teaser. They're absolutely stunning. I love all of the shades. Should we do the orange? Like, why not? Let's go in with TN Teaser. Eight hour color and six hour shine. So we will see. Wow, I really like that. It feels really lightweight, barely there, almost just like a bomb. It feels kind of hydrating, like it does feel like a bomb, but it obviously gives off really beautiful, buildable color. So I do think the new formula already off the bat is better, but let's see how it wears. So I will be back and I'll check in at the end of the day to give you my final review. Hey guys, so it's been almost four hours. The color is still there. It's maybe faded just a little bit, more of like a stained look. So I'm not mad about it, but I do have to say that about half an hour ago, I noticed that the shine was pretty much gone. So I don't think that the shine does last for six hours. I will check it in at the eight hour mark to show you guys what it's looking like. Hey guys, so it has been eight hours and 20 minutes since I applied. The shine definitely wore off a lot quicker than what the claim said. For over eight hours, I'm kind of impressed. I haven't touched them up at all. Now I definitely noticed, you know, a little bit of wear at around the four to six hour mark. And then past that, it obviously started to get a little bit faded looking, a little bit maybe slightly patchy but definitely I think better than their original formula so I'm actually really 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 impressed I'm gonna go ahead and touch it up yeah so it's definitely faded but it is kind of nice that it just leaves that almost like stained look touched up nicely it looks the exact same if you want the nice shine and the nice pigmentation then you're gonna want to reapply but ultimately I'm quite impressed with these I definitely recommend them so thanks so much for watching guys I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys next time bye, bye.